This is Melech Ben Yaakov of KaraiteInsights.com and we're here at Ein Gedi, right near the Dead Sea. Okay, so Ein Gedi is mentioned in the Tanakh, in the book of Shmuel, Samuel, as a place where King David hid out. So if King David were hiding out here today, unfortunately, I think he'd be found pretty quickly. Uh, as you can see, it gets pretty crowded here. And I'd like to explain a little bit what the name Ein Gedi means. The word Ein means a spring, but literally it means an eye. For instance, we have in, uh, in the book of Genesis, when, uh, when, when the slave, the servant of Abraham meets Rivka at the well, he says he meets her at the, at the Ein Hamayim, the eye of the water. And why would, a, why would a spring be called, or a well be called an eye? Because if you look at the way a well is shaped, it's like a hole in the ground, so it's like an eye. Gedi is from the word Gedi, and Gedi means a young goat, or maybe in general, a young herd animal. And the waterfalls that you see here at Ein Gedi are formed from water up in the mountains. Uh, we're talking about the mountains of Jerusalem, which then, when you head on east, turn into the Judean mountains and start, slowly start sloping down towards the Dead Sea. So we have runoff from the mountains when it rains or from underground water source, sources or when it snows and the water runs off those mountains down to the east towards the Dead Sea. And this is why we have waterfalls here at Ein Gedi. And who would believe that the land of Israel, which has a reputation for, for being a desert, is so wet and full of running water? And I'd like to introduce you to my friend Silas. Hi, everyone. He's visiting from the United States, but he's originally from Kenya. And he's joining me today here in En Gedi. So this is Nahal Dawid, David's river, or David's wadi. And the reason that it's called Nahal David, David's Wadi, is, of course, based on those verses in the Bible that we spoke about earlier. The fact that King David hid out from King Saul here in En Gedi. And right across from En Gedi is the Dead Sea. We're standing now on the shore of the Dead Sea. And, of course, the Dead Sea is the lowest point on Earth, on land. It is more than 300 feet below sea level and in fact it's getting lower every year. The reason it's getting lower each year, well, there are actually three primary reasons. Reason number one is the Dead Sea Works. There is a lot of industry surrounded or uh, having to do with the Dead Sea, cosmetics, minerals, etc, etc. And people are very interested in buying these minerals both for their, their healing properties and because it's associated with Israel, with the land of Israel, the Holy Land. Uh, reason number two is the great increase in population in the state of Israel is causing the water sources of the Dead Sea to be diverted for human use. And that includes the Jordan River, that includes the feeders to the Jordan River, the Kinneret Lake, and the feeders to the Kinneret Lake. And Lake Kinneret has been at uh, record low levels over the past number of years. And the third reason is drought and global warming. Global warming which has affected uh, Israel. Israel has been in a perpetual state of drought really for at least the past 10 years and, uh, and uh, this has affected the Dead Sea. This is Silas down at the shore of the Dead Sea and I just told him that he should go in there and have an incredible experience as I'm sure you all know, as you've all heard, that uh, if you try to go into the Dead Sea, you actually, it's very hard to sink. You will float right back to the surface. And that's because of the high salt and mineral content in the Dead Sea. It makes the water more dense and therefore gives anything that floats in it more buoyancy, pushes it to the top uh, with more force and more quickly. This is uh, Melech Ben Yaakov of www.karaiteinsights.com and I want to thank you for joining me on my visit to Ein Gedi and I hope you'll come visit on your own soon. Bye.
אליך אלוקים, כאיילתם. 